Can we try this again? What matter? Whoa, good boy. What matter? Rock a birdie. Griffin is the kind of student who says, tell me what I have to do to get the A. And then he'll do it really, really well. We did a formal study. It sounds quite simple, but it's really difficult. Imagine four colored pom-poms of these, you know, here's our little pom-poms. You cover them with little cups, and then you start moving them in a certain pattern. Only then would I ask you, okay, where's the yellow one? So you have to keep track of all four of them. We used Harvard students and we gave them the same exact task as Griffin. And he either matched or beat them up to three moves. Only when we got to three and four moves did his abilities start to decrease and get below theirs. The reason these birds do so well on the cognitive tasks we give them is that surprisingly, although their brain is the size of a shelled walnut, it is so densely packed with neurons that the density is comparable to that of non-human primates. But she froze six good birdies. The last common ancestor that we had with parrots was back at the dinosaurs 300 plus million years ago. We do think that this manipulation ability, some, some limited aspect of it, probably goes back to a common ancestor and then it developed over time so that you get to this much more complicated complex ability now.